Have you ever wondered what the difference between prophecy and prophesy is? Well, if you go to a website like this one, it'll say a prophecy is a prediction of the future. And a prophesy is to predict. And so one's a prediction, one's to predict. Okay, so that's not bad, but it's, in my opinion, a little confusing. Um, it's, a, it's the same thing. And I want to show you that these two words are exactly, the, they have the same meaning. It's just the way you say them. Okay, so if we go, first of all, let's do this. I want to show you, um, you'll see prophecy. <clears throat> A form of prophecy or prophecies, I believe prophecies is mentioned in here. Um, yeah, right there. So you'll see prophecies 23 times and then prophesy or prophesied or prophesies uh, is mentioned 136 times, okay? So it's, it's in there quite a bit. And if we go, let's say, let's go to this one right here in Romans 12, verse 6. Let me blow this up so you can see it. Let's just go crazy with it. All right, so in verse 6, it says, Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teaches on teaching. Okay, so you you notice teacheth and teaching, it's a, it means the same thing. Same thing also with prophesy and prophecy. They mean the very same thing. And so I, myself, I had questions about what this word meant or what the difference was in the, in the spelling. And I was told years ago that they had two different meanings. They don't. They both mean the exact same thing. Okay, and then so you think of uh, like the definition given here, a prediction. Okay, well, let me give you a prediction that... At the end of the thousand years mentioned in Revelation 20, Jesus is going to come in the clouds of heaven. Okay, and we read about that in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21. Okay, when he comes in the clouds of heaven, and I saw a great white throne on him that sat on it, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. All right, this is the same thing that we're reading in Matthew 24, for example. Okay. And immediately after the tribulation of those days, Shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. All right, this is parallel with who, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. All right, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, which is Jesus, in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, with power and great glory. Right, these are parallel verses. And we, so at the end of the thousand years is when Jesus comes, which can only mean the thousand years is right now. So I predict at the end of the thousand years, Jesus is coming in the clouds of heaven. And this is the great day of the Lord, judgment day, when uh, God separates the saved from the unsaved, okay? To put it very simply. All right, so that's a that's a prediction. It's a prophecy. I'm prophesying 
when I say that. So um, it don't, you know, you don't have to be confused about what that word means. It's very simple. Um, in other words, I'm teaching you, right? I'm teaching you about something that's going to happen in the future. All right. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's not like a Nostradamus sort of prediction where, you know, you're saying, the, well, the bear is Russia and the lion is Israel or, you know, and then there's going to be a World War Three, and, you know, that sort of nonsense and, you know, the Hitler is going to come back from the dead or whatever, whatever nonsense Nostradamus comes up with. A true prophecy is uh, taken from the Word of God. Okay. And then, of course, we are warned over and over again about uh, false prophets, right? False teachers. Um, I mean, give you one example, Isaiah 28. But they also have air through wine and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. And, um, you know, and I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. Right? And so on and so forth. So the, there are false, <clears throat> excuse me, there are false teachers. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. Okay, so you see this quite often, probably more so today than ever. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it just, it's crazy how many people are teaching the future incorrectly. All right, so I wanted to give you an example of what is correct, and let that stand against all those that are incorrect, okay? Very simple stuff. Just wanted to share that with you.